Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, lately I've tried my hardest to be as positive as I possibly can be and I was successful which only further reiterated for me that happiness is more of a choice rather than something you can achieve um, as long as you have food, water, shelter and good people around you happiness is a matter of choice. A very big component to happiness is gratitude because no matter how much you achieve if you don't learn to appreciate simple things, then you will find a very difficult time to be happy in the first place. So this week, uh, I decided to practice gratitude together with you. And I decided to say thanks to the universe and to the entire humanity for the great things that LGBT community already had in 2020. And I'm sure there will be even more things to come. So the first thing uh, that's worth mentioning is that our fellow LGBTQIA community in America, in New Hampshire specifically, uh, had a small win on their side. On 1st of January, a law has been passed that allows a third gender on driver's license in New Hampshire now. So for those people who uh, are transgender or intersex or do not identify as either man or a woman, uh, it feels a lot more real to them. And also making law enforcers and local community there think, ooh, what's that about? And hopefully making them seek out information about that, which is great. Another major win happened on 13th of January uh, to our fellow neighbors in Northern Ireland. Same-sex marriage was finally legalized. Yay, let's clap it out. Truly deserves a round of applause here. I'm aware that um, in the past seven years they had to come over to here, to Main Island, UK, uh, to get married. Now, however, uh, this has significantly changed with uh, people in Northern Ireland now being able to get married. Same-sex couples and also having their unions recognized in their own country if they got married uh, somewhere else. So go us and congrats to our community in Northern Ireland. A lot of things happened in February as well. Uh, for example, Croatia's uh, top court uh, decided on 7th of February that it's unconstitutional to ban uh, gay couples from fostering children. So that was um, overruled effective immediately, making fostering legal uh, for gay couples in Croatia. Two days later, on 9th of February, uh, Switzerland banned uh, LGBT discrimination in a nationwide referendum. A lot of you would probably think that uh, Switzerland would have already had these laws in place, uh, like, you know, Spain and France and UK and Belgium, all of these countries already have it. But the story with Switzerland is, in 2018, the government tried to implement this law, uh, but then it wasn't accepted uh, and the government said, oh, you know, well, we should let people decide. It should be up to people to decide. And then luckily, 63% uh, of the population at the referendum uh, did vote in favor of um, gay discrimination being um, a law offense. So uh, yeah, yay to Switzerland. Again, very well done. Israel worked hard this February, not one, but two major uh, laws being implemented in this regard. First one, uh, making the change of gender in passport uh, possible without having to do the surgery for transgender and intersex people. And the second one passed two days later, actually, um, basically saying again that uh, banning gay couples from fostering children is unconstitutional and essentially overruling that. So yay, Israel as well, very well done. You are the hardest worker of all. Two laws being implemented in three days, that is quite impressive. Finally, in March, before the entire craziness with quarantine began, uh, Hong Kong actually struck down um, discriminatory housing policies, which essentially means that uh, now same-sex couples have access to public uh, housing if they are low-income families. Which is great news because we know that uh, oftentimes in Asia, LGBT community is being discriminated against at the workplace. Uh, so this law will allow those people who cannot sustain themselves, those couples, those gay couples who cannot sustain themselves, um, actually get affordable uh, housing from the government. Another important thing that happened uh, on that same day, actually, on 4th of March, uh, Virginia in the United States was the first southern um, state to ban conversion therapy uh, amongst minors. So let's clap it up for Virginia too, because this is a very important law that will help millions of kids in the future. So 
as you can see, many great things happened to LGBT community in 2020 already, and I'm sure there will be even more to come. In such time, gratitude is incredibly important to exercise because otherwise people just go crazy uh, and they get overwhelmed by anxiety. So I encourage you, if you want to reduce your anxiety every single time when you wake up in the morning, um, just say to yourself or out loud, what are the things you're grateful for? And remember these things because they are the foundation for your mental well-being during self-isolation. I hope this video helped some of you guys out there. If it did, please support my channel by liking and subscribing to it. And follow my Instagram for my day-to-day -day life. The link will be in the description below. I love you. Stay safe and sane. Have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.